live shows. All right. So the news for this week. <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, let's bring up the first piece of news. Mike, tell us about this thing on the screen here. So this is, you know, we've had a number of news stories that you'll see over the years of ancient board games or or what? the predecessors of board games found in you know caves or what have you. I know that. You know, they found what Senate, that Egyptian board game. Right, and right, right. Pharaohs, I saw someone too. said that was their favorite game, which was a filthy lie. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Were they an ancient uh, Egyptian? <laughs> He's the reincarnator. Yeah. Guy come back right. and a mummy. I believe these were found in the Aegean area. Uh, is that right, Tom? You have the notes. There. Okay, yes. Yeah, so in the Aegean and Mediterranean seas, yes. the University of Bristol found a rock and said, definitely a game piece. <laughs> definitely a game. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It okay. looks like a Kinesia game. Were the game rules on the inside of the lid or uh, on the bottom of the stone? <laughs> They're the 3,600 to 4,500 years old, so we have them narrowed down to a 900 period. Okay. Which, like for monopoly. ancient history, is actually pretty normal. That is pretty good. Yeah. The researchers plan to use artificial intelligence techniques to gain some mm. insight on how this game of stone spheres may have been played. <laughs> Roll three, move forward. The issue, I, come on! How can you... Look, I've I've actually played this. The problem I have <laughs> is it has a massive first player. I was advantage. gonna say you need to you need to name drop the designer. Like I played this before it was published. I played this so uh, I played this with Paulo Mori and uh, <laughs> I love it. This looks like somebody practicing their their dent technique. Right. <laughs> and they're like, oh definitely. They're a just board sharpening game. their chisel, you know, their their stone their stone axe. I mean it, it probably I mean again, yeah. I assume these guys the people who talk about this stuff know what they're they're saying, but it just it does seem like they found these pieces that are like it's probably a board game. Keep an eye out for the deluxe version of this on Kickstarter within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the shipping's going to be rough. Because <laughs> it's coming from the a past? Box of rocks. Because it's coming from the past? <laughs> All right. Uh, Anywho. Okay, so the next thing is, hey, guess what? Queen Games is making more. They have not yet run out of cities. Yeah, they have, because you reused Cusco again for no reason. I do reason. like that these all, I never noticed this, they, make they a, connect and make yeah. a panoramic image there. That is beautiful. Yeah, huh. this is problematic if you don't like one of the games. Oh, you better get them all. Okay. <laughs> you think Queen's that was put into that. The, the, the decision making process? I think it probably was. I think that's similar to like the Aaliyah box editions where Absolutely. even if you don't like a game, a lot of people wanted it because they didn't want to have a missing number in their yeah. collection. Yeah. This, this is, is even more worse. Yeah, it's because you got the picture. The picture is more important to me than I don't care about the numbers. I because I after a while you could just be like one, seven, thirteen, you're yeah. fine. Right. But yeah. What's, ah. even, what's even more insidious is the retail price. Now, what? Is, well, yes, but uh, what do you know? Okay, so the first four titles are being delivered to backers now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and now the newest one, seven and eight, they are not. That's a. That's this is the amount of information we know. Actually, we yeah, just know we these are the next two. I would guess one. I, if I was guessing, one of them is a reprint and one is new. I really hope that that NASA is not Amerigo. No, I'm thinking it might be the the the, the early Feld, the crappy rum and pirate. Oh, rum and pirates? Do you think they would bring that oh, back? Oh, you're right. That might be what that is. But what if he like he he would probably com pretty completely redo that. I know, point. but that's could you imagine if they brought that back? Because that's it's pretty rough. That was pretty rough. That was yeah. a very early Feld, yeah. and that might be it. Wonder if that's a reprint of It Happens. That Maybe was, was that Feld? No, that was that was Feld. Yeah, that was Feld. Right, that's yeah. Feld, yeah. Mm. I, That's a tiny one, though. Mm -hmm. um, Someone comment said that I would buy Queen Games if they ditched that ugly yellow swoosh. I get that, but these don't have that. These right. look really good. Mm. So everything else, I mean, we, we give yeah, Queen yeah, yeah. a lot of garbage, but they're these covers, I... I I want this in the Dice Tower library. I want this yeah. whole shelf there of if all I, these city collections. And, and Feld is a designer that kind of... People really that like Feld, they mm -hmm. really like him, and they want the whole collection, and I understand that as, from a collector's point of view. Um, I'm not terribly interested in these, but but I know that at Essen, the Queen Booth area where they were demoing these Feld games mm -hmm. was slammed. And I wax hot times, and cold on you know, Feld, but yeah, I mean some of his. I mean I'm looking forward to playing whatever the Bruges is called. Um, yeah, and I look forward to playing a few of them. And there's a lot of I'll early, even play the ones I don't like again, just in case. Yeah, there's a lot of early buzz for the one new one, the mm. big one, um, but who knows. 
Yeah, so the Ferris wheel next to the Incan temple seems odd. Well, you know what? <laughs> this is like one of those future Earths where they took all the stuff off Earth mm -hmm. and stuck it in one city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we don't have a picture, but there's another expansion coming for Terra Mystica. I believe this is the... Oh, no. I'm sorry. This is not an expansion. This is a standalone sequel. Mm -hmm. Terra Mystica Age of Innovation. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been described as... <laughs> Terra Mystica on steroids. Yeah, because if you didn't, that, that, that light little filler game, Terra Mystica, you know, you need to really ramp the difficulty and complexity up on that. Terra Mystica on steroids? Well, I they're saying it's closer to Gaia Project. Gaia Project was more involved in Terra Mystica, but I didn't find it to be that much more involved. It certainly wasn't on steroids, right? Yeah, yeah. It was maybe on some sort of medication. Maybe on Tylenol PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little sleepy there, but then it caught a second <laughs> wind. This game was originally, Age of Innovation, was supposed to come out in 2021. Right. Then 2022. Now they're saying 2023, which I think is legit. Capstone seems to be on the ball these days. It's interesting, though, because they came out with that Terra Nova one, right? That's like a beginner version yeah, of it. Yeah, it was like Baby's First oh, Terra Mystica. Okay. Now you've got you know, now the real Terra Mystica, the gamers Terra Mystica, this Terra Mystica is I for, I still don't you know, like this cover. Yeah. This I've for, never uh, liked the cover Mainly for Mystica. advanced children. Mainly <laughs> for, for precocious children. Like yes. if your kids have, oh, you this know, is for tweens. advanced <laughs> placement. Terra Mystica <laughs> was for elementary. This is the CW of Terra the, Mystica. The, the right? teenager one's coming soon. Right, right, right. Okay. All right. Uh, this next game, uh, we talked about this somewhere, uh, Books of Time. This we is, saw it at Essen, Tom. It was dem they, they had a demo version out on the table. It's an early... And it had those little clippies, the little metal clips. Um, yeah, you're right. I'm a little the worried about clips. those binder clips because if you if you've ever been a teacher or a student, even you know those rings. They there comes out. one day where you push them closed and they go past each other. You're like, ah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you get your finger stuck in there. Oh, if you get your finger stuck in there, it's mostly just. Has problem. this never happened to you? It's mostly a user. How problem. did you close yours? I closed them like that. I read that you're not supposed to do that, that you're supposed to push those clips on the end, yeah, that's and not that's happening. why they break all the time. Yeah, nice. And I was like, so much faster. Did anyone ever do that, though? I don't know. Like pushing the clips? That being said, we, sp we spent you a lot of time. You open them like that. Uh, you definitely open them like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you do. Right? I open them like that. No, I, got I, to, I actually got to where I was pulling them apart with the clips. I don't do that. I would that's do that. a monstrous thing. We spent a lot of time talking about the clips, but <laughs> whether they work or not, we don't know. It's a neat theme, and I thought the look of it was pretty neat. It was kind of a novel idea where, you know, you have pages, you're flipping like a book, and Hopefully it's good. I mean, board and dice have been a little bit all over the place for me lately. It's not a tea game, though. It's not. No, no. no. Time. It's a designer <laughs> of, like, uh, Mandala Stones and uh, the founders, I think, of Teotihuacan. So more of the abstracty type of games. Mm -hmm. um, it looked good, that's for sure. Yeah, it did look a great cover, too. Mm -hmm. All right, speaking of cool covers, we have Lost Lights. Lost Lights. This is a new two-player game from um, Board Game Circus. This looks Julius so much Sue. like a Everdell expansion cover to me. It's crazy. Oh, wow. With That's the, a gorgeous with the cover. It's a everything. really, really yeah. pretty cover. It is. Uh, I'm confused as to why the L in Lights is capitalized, but the one in Lost isn't. Uh, it's Lost. But you're <laughs> right. That is an odd choice. And then the name of the artist is Focal Strees. Yeah, Focal Street. The author's name. It's interesting though that the artist's name is equal, you know, footing. I'm with saying the that happened more yeah. and more. That's been happening more and more. Yeah. Also, I've noticed that the gears for designer is almost universally accepted now, as that means designer. That means designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the and gears and the pen or the right. plume. Right. That's a thing now. It is. I've and I've seen a. a That's fairly new. Yeah. Last few yeah, years. Yeah, but I've seen it a lot though. Yeah, I'm I okay like with that. that. I'm yeah, okay. I think it's cool too. iconography. It needs, to, it needs to supplant the meeple. It does. Yeah. I know. There's. <laughs> I've also seen a, an icon for developer too, but I can't remember what it was offhand. Anyway, that one's just a money does sign. I think. Mm. <laughs> anyway, it's two players. Down, You're kidding. gonna reinforce your party with new followers, or move them on the map, and then you fight. And if you have no party members on the map or someone runs out of card, it's over. And then you have a little bit of area control. Okay. The German version's coming out in March slash April. Is it capitalized? <laughs> I don't know when it's coming out here, but definitely one to look forward to. That's Do we know really about this pretty. board game circus? Uh, yes, board game circus I, I is a company that I like a lot. And I'll tell you why. Tell me why. Uh, because, <laughs> as I pull them up here, uh -huh. um... 
Actually, the no. Q Birds, right? That one we've we've known. Yeah, they work a lot with other companies here, so we, ah. you can see Creature Comforts, but that's them working with um, kids, kids' table, table board games, yeah. Ford Gardens. They're working with Korea Garden board Nation. Games. Was it Garden Nation from them originally? That was Asthma Day, right? No, that's uh, Bombix. Maybe I think so. Yeah. Grease Monkey Garage. We just talked about that on. Uh, yeah, we did. Hidden they're Leaders. Involved in a was lot Hidden of... Leaders board game circus? No, Hidden Leaders was. Um, Gosh, I thought that was indie board. It says publisher distributor of hidden gems for the German speaking market. Ah, okay. So they bring over games for the okay. German market. Okay. okay, interesting. This looks gorgeous. That's that's it all does, I got so far. We don't have a lot of information, but boy, I want to try now it. Now I remember they had a booth at Essen. Did, did they, they had the they had the Ultra and the loop expansions, but only in German. That's why I oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so I get on everyone's cases a lot about their Undo fascination with <laughs> Oink, because Oink can put out a piece of trash and people go, ooh! Yeah. That being said, I'm interested in this one. It's mm. called Make a Difference, and here you add subtle differences to these sheets for other people to find. Yeah. Um, but you don't want to make it too difficult or too easy to catch if you want to get the most points. So it sounds, there's a hundred sheets in here. Mm-hmm. And it looks like you are just adding a small thing to one, <laughs> and then you're hoping, I guess, that somebody finds it, but not everyone. I'm assuming it's that's like how that works. Like a Dixit type thing, probably. Yeah, where you want. Does that mean it's only usable once? Well, probably. <sighs> or you could dry erase it. You know what I mean? Although, no, you wouldn't be able to, because then that your your marks your marks would show up more. I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, they have to give you the exact same pen as these are made with. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can just tell tell the mark. The pen different. Like, mark. hey guys, I just need to tilt this page for a second. Yeah, yeah got you, it. Yeah, you can just see it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's I, a it's a clever idea. I wonder if the production will make this, you know, if it'll make sense. Yeah, like the production plays a big part of this. It does. You know, if the pen mark that you used is a difference. It's obvious mm -hmm. the game doesn't work, mm -hmm. so I I wonder. I'm I'm optimistic and well, curious. they're definitely not dry erase because if they're gonna fit in an oink box and there's a hundred sheets, they no, are like really no. thin folded yeah. pieces of paper. They, well, I mean they've done they've done dry erase stuff in their games like yeah, they, but not they some games. They not do have some games that are a little bit bigger. Yeah, they have the double size box. Yeah. Also, I'm betting based on that picture that it is in their double size box. Uh, that's probably cute. Mm -hmm. Oink is a fantastic company. They haven't done any games that aren't great. <laughs> that's not true, but they have done some very nice games. Back in the day, we used to make fun of WizKids covers. Nowadays, yeah. they're like looking really good. This I one, like Rebuilding that. Seattle, wow. looks really good. That's a great game. The only thing I don't like about WizKids covers is I feel like that red line at the bottom sometimes yes. clashes. In this case, it does. Mm -hmm. It Yes, it's... It, it's to Better than the yellow swoosh from Queen that somebody sure. was pointing but out. I'm just saying, I wish they just put that WizKids logo in the, the whole red line, I yeah, think. I especially with that. Anyway, um, this is a tile placement game from Quinn Brander mm -hmm. about recovering the from the devastating fire that hit Seattle in 1889. So it's a city building oh, game. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I like the I like that cover a lot. I feel like this is not a theme that I've ever heard used before. I've heard like you know rebuilding you know San Francisco and such after you know the earthquake. And, but this is this I'm interested in this one. Yeah. Huh. Cool. All right. Then we have <laughs> in the most odd news of the week, Simon mm -hmm. announced Iron ah. Maiden character packs for Zombie Side. So. Okay, so help us not just non zombie side. Well, okay, for a lot of things. Mike we'll get loves to that in a second. Okay, this is Mike's news of the help week. Help me out a little bit here. So, okay. since the internet out knows, I yes. actually know nothing about any genre of music. But yes. Okay, I don't know anything about heavy metal. Okay. So Iron Maiden is a band. They are a band that's been around for decades. And this band has a character. Yeah, they have a mascot. Is kind of what the word they okay. use called Eddie, right? And it's kind of like this the creature. And it's been around, you know. Since Does he like show up on the stage while he, they're playing yeah. music? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like they, they. He's not a band member. He is not a band member. It's a character that that's through on the years, covers right? Also that's on their, their covers. I've so, seen them on covers. I've yeah. seen that a lot. Early yeah. on, you know, I don't think it was incorporated into the stage show as much. But now, I mean, they've been around. They they have these huge productions, and they'll have big, you know. Uh, examples of Eddie, and each album will do a different version of that mascot. So they did earlier on; they did a, a, an Egyptian-themed album, and so the Eddie was Egyptian-themed. And they had a Somewhere in Time, which was like a science fiction-themed album. So there was a science fiction Eddie, and that's why, as ludicrous as this may seem, and may be depending on your opinion, there at least is some clever what looks like 
thematic touches. So like the Egyptian Eddie's going into Ankh, and the science fiction Eddie is going into Zombie Side Invaders. Um, yeah, so they're gonna, there's a version of him now for Cthulhu Death May Die, Rising Sun, mm -hmm. don't know how they're doing that one, Ankh, Massive Darkness 2, and then like every single zombie side well, game. Well, they have Japanese-themed albums, so that's it. I'm not sure, though, Mike, mm -hmm. from when I read this, that the character, let's say there's the Egyptian one, yeah. might work in all of the games with different cards. That I don't know. Yeah, I do not know. I do know, and, I, and I, this is funny, because I said this to a number of people at Essen, I saw more Iron Maiden t-shirts at Essen than any other like single type of shirt. I saw literally dozens of people wearing Iron Maiden t-shirts in, mm. in, in, in Essen. And I mentioned it to a number of people um, because I was surprised. Like, they're, they're huge worldwide. Like, they're huge worldwide. I don't so. care about Iron Maiden at all. Yeah. But I'm sitting here going, it's another figure from Massive Darkness. I'm thinking, uh. cause Death May Die, I know I want it just for the Death May Die. You know, You're, you are um, on so steroids. So next step, I'll be Let's listening to the devil's. Steroids. I'll You're be Tom listening Basil to the devil's music next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Iron Maiden. Is... Are you? Does this interest you at all? <laughs> I'm only interested in the Death May Die character. It's, I don't care about the other stuff. I mean, extra stuff for a game I particularly like, like Death May Die. Yeah, yeah. sure, but I, I, I'm not a big fan of this whole crossover thing based on. Again, this is getting chocolate in my peanut butter, and mm. I'm, I'm not usually a big fan of that. Yeah. Next, they'll do, like, Simpsons. And, like, oh, they had an Egyptian-themed Simpsons <laughs> episode, so oh. it's Homer. There was a... Sh uh, uh, no, I hate that. You can hear Chris screaming from the other room about how excited he is about I hate the Simpsons. <laughs> Slippery slope arguments. He doesn't work here, necessarily, uh -huh. but yes. All right. Phase Shift, who makes little small square box games, and I'm assuming this is one of them, has a game called Flutter, mm. where they were like, let's... We also need to jump on this nature-themed thing. Yeah. Um... This is from Matthew Bontke. Uh, you're placing tangram type tiles down, creating mm. poly, pollinators and flowers at the corner. This actually sounds mm -hmm. like a game we talked about on Kickstarter yesterday. It does, right? Sounds similar to that one. But yeah. does it matter because this is coming to uh, crowd, crowdfunding next year? So wow, put it out of your mind. It already? Put it okay. out of your mind right now. You don't need to worry about yeah, it. Although I love tangrams, so that has me interested. Yeah, I do. And they're the ones that do dungeon drop, right? Yeah. Okay. This is so different than everything yeah, else they've yeah, done. Yeah, I was going to say. But again, Dang. nature equals money. You better believe that it. That better be the title of the next one. Nature, nature or minis. All right, we're sorry. This is on us. We don't have a picture of the next game. We could have, though. Uh, Mystery yes. of the Abbey. So this is being done by Mojito uh, Studios. Yeah, I couldn't find a and picture. And we saw this. By, this was... One of the more exciting things I saw at Essen, I walked around the corner, I was like, I love Mr. the Abbey. Mm -hmm. Mojito already brought, they must have bought up all the old Days of Wonder stock. I guess, right? Because they just did Cleopatra. Yep. And now they're doing, and the, the, well, doing not just Pueblo that, they did Pueblo, too. which, side note, I saw the Pueblo version there, mm -hmm. and I was a little hesitant when I saw their renderings on Kickstarter. Yeah. When I saw it in person, I was like, oh, it looks fine. It looks good. And did it you see good. Lost Code there, too? They had that there as well. Lost Code. We didn't get a copy of that, did we? Well, there's a story behind that we'll talk about after we're done filming. Got it. Is it in the missing suitcase? It is no. not. It Which is we not. still don't have. It okay, but anyway. Mystery. Z and I, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's uh, you know, pull out our credit. Oh, we're going to drop uh, some. Well, should okay, we? sure. I'm good with that, yeah. Because they had, they had a nice little standee, to, basically announcing that they're going to be doing this with some mm -hmm. beautiful looking artwork and so we talked to a gentleman there and um, he went behind and got out a little folder he pulled out the binder he pulled okay. out the binder of with those binder things, clips by the, the way. binder of all things hidden and showed z and i some sneak peeks of the board art i don't want to say that eddie is coming art. to mystery of the abbey <laughs> <laughs> okay here's the thing it though. looks nice this look one was good. really good yeah of course we said the same thing about cleopatra right Although I still think that even though Mojitas looks better than Days of Wonder, Days of Wonders was functionally better. I agree. This one I don't care about functionality because it's not a big it's 3D not a big, thing. Right, yeah. But I need the bell. They better keep you the better bell. They better keep the bell, Mojito. They better keep the bell. I would not mind if some of the stupidity went away. In, in the game. game, the original Speak one had like yeah, there was a yeah, few a weird cards, yeah, yeah. not a lot, but a few cards that were really dumb, and I would yes. love for those things to kind of go away for right. the game to be a little better of a game. Right. Uh, I think that they did rework the, like some of the rules have been reworked, like having to go back to your room, yes, or whatever. Right. That that went away, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to just sort of waste time Going walking somewhere room. for no reason just right. because you're supposed to. 
Yeah, yeah, it looks neat. And yeah, like we said, the artwork is looking superb. It really does, yeah. All right. Weird art on this next one here. Agueda? Mm -hmm. Am I pronouncing that right? I think it's Agueda. Agueda, because of the... From 25th Century, who... Man, I'd definitely be a bike in a few years where we'd be like, we knew 25th Century when they Back were small. Because yeah, yeah. they are like mm -hmm. really like driving down the highway at full speed. Is everyone here releasing an umbrella at the same time like balloons? I'm, I believe this is based off of an actual thing. I'm guessing. I, I think there's like some kind of a festival that, that, that happens where people maybe, you know, release the umbrellas umbrella or project. whatever. Yeah. Um, not only is 25th Century um, kind of making a splash, it really seems like they have a very wide variety of styles of games they're mm -hmm. doing, right? I mean, oh. so Green Team Wins, you know, is a, is a party game. And, you know, uh, you've got the, the new Raw that they're coming out with. Yes. So they're like, they're doing all kinds of stuff. Um, this is cool. Yeah, is this, so this is an actual thing? Yeah, it's like a street. It looks exactly, I, mean, yeah. I can't show you folks, but it looks exactly like this picture. You can look it up and yeah, that's that's a really neat theme, right? I gotta say that if I was walking here, I could see some, I could see anyone walking there and going, Board game. Yeah, right. I really could. Uh, you know, yeah, it's like yeah, the Fremont yeah. Street experience, just with umbrellas. That is actually exactly what I thought when I saw the, the <laughs> yeah. Fremont Street. Yeah, in, in Las Vegas, but just with, with the whole lot. Uh, this one feels like it'd be a much more family friendly. Be like street. umbrellas instead of like overpriced. Also, no lines. rain. Right. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I oh, know it's gonna fall through those little holes. You'll be like, <laughs> ironic. I'm getting wet. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, yeah, this is coming in 2023. Huh. Cool cover too. Yeah, it's yeah. a very cool cover. I like this next cover, Wild Gardens. Mm -hmm. This is coming from Rose Gauntlet. Their first game, which also looked gorgeous, Keystone yeah. North America. Didn't love the gameplay of it, but I did like how it looked. So this one here, you're just getting wild ingredients, cooking meals, upgrading your kitchen, and <coughs> serving interesting guests. Yep, this will be coming to Backer Kit. Yeah, I liked Keystone more than you did. Um, I think, you know, it's a very, very pretty cover. You know, again, nature, you mm -hmm. might as well. Although I get the impression, well... This is an assumption, but I do wonder if Rose Gauntlet is maybe going to be making that part of its thing. I mm -hmm. wonder if all their games are going to have kind of maybe a... That's a complete assumption. I don't know. It's only the first two games, but designed by Isaac Vega, who has a very strong pedigree. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he co-designed Keystone, he did, I think. Yeah, he did. He was part of that yeah. one. Um, and I know he's, and like, he's part of the company. He's part of the company. Yeah. I think he's yeah. like the, the head of the company, or at least one of the heads of the company. So. But yeah, this is a, a really good looking cover. It is, yeah. That is... Bold. Mm -hmm. Alright, our, our last piece of news <laughs> Bold. Oh. is a new expansion for Destinies coming from Lucky Duck. Destinies Ooh. Witchwood. Witchwood. Bye -bye. Yeah, yeah. And I gotta say, the more Destinies leans into the horrific, the mm. more I'm excited about it because. Really? Well, be, because. I, when I played Destiny's, it's a fun game, yeah. but there was at least one of the scenarios, in fact, two, that kind of leaned into, we're in medieval times, oh, yeah. oh, it's medieval, and it was very mundane, I thought. Okay. Okay. They started doing fantastical stuff, especially with their Sands of Time expansion, and I was like, oh, wow, this is so much more interesting. Okay. I do wonder, because that, that Dark Quarter definitely was very successful, mm -hmm. and that's based off of this system, and mm -hmm. that is straight horror. Well, this one actually says... This is inspired by Slavic folklore and fairy tales and ah. has a lighter tone than the core game. Okay. Oh, so, like, I, I, I'm thinking, again, maybe Goosebumps' this style, like, Got ooh, it. it's a house and there's a witch yeah. type stuff. Okay. I mean, that is clearly the whole Baba Yaga thing, the, or the witch who lives in the house that moves or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's so there's, the Slavic. There's that's 12 like. characters and four interconnected scenarios, which makes sense because you play three characters per scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more character driven than the other ones mm. as NPC characters that you meet may return in other scenarios or become playable characters. That's Bam. cool. That's Done. Cool. I'm all over it. There's also a new module, the character trait module and adversity module. I'm really interested in this mm. <laughs> because I like Destiny's a lot and if they're making it cooler and adding things, yeah. I'm in, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, good. I like Destinies. I don't love it as much as everyone else does, but I'm glad to see that they're continuing to innovate. This is coming to GameFound, unfortunately, which means... It'll be a while. It will be a while mm -hmm. before you see it. I think yeah, it's on yeah. GameFound this next week, so maybe we'll talk about it more as time comes by. Anyway, folks, that is the news.